Welcome to LINK 2024. My name is Markus Mürnbo from Heidelberg, Germany. And I'm here together with Dr. Jonathan Dona from Edinburgh. And the topic of our interview is the sealant study. So can you explain a little bit about what is the sealant study? So despite the widespread use of stent coiling in everyday practice, the amount of published literature on the technique is somewhat lacking. There are few prospective studies uh, with independent adjudication of clinical events and imaging outcomes. Sealant aims to address that by examining the safety and efficacy of stent coiling using Elvis Evo and hydrocoil embolic system with up over 90% of hydrogel coil used by length. Which is a super high rate, 90%. Yep, it's a high volume of uh, hydrocoil use uh, and the study has been run in uh, 19 sites across five European countries and we have outcome measures at one year on DSA and also importantly at two and a half years so we're going to get some more long-term data about outcomes from this patient cohort. Okay and uh, now we are talking about your major findings which are about the periprocedural phase of the study, is that correct? Yes, so here at LINK 2024 we're presenting S discharge safety analysis in the intention to treat population um, and I'm pleased to say the results look very positive with extremely low rates of periprocedural morbidity and no mortality. So major ischemic stroke uh, which was our primary safety outcome defined as more than 24 hours and an NIH SS of four or more only occurred in one patient so that's 0.5 percent rate there were three patients who had minor ischemic strokes uh, as a complication defined by the same definition, so 1.5% rate of minor, minor stroke. What was the total amount of patients who were enrolled into the study? So uh, the intention to treat population includes 206 patients with quite broad inclusion criteria. The intention was to include the sort of broad wheelhouse of patients having stent coiling. So it's aneurysms up to 12 millimeters in size where the operator felt that a stent, uh, the Elvis Evo and uh, the hydrocoils were suitable for use. So it's more or less a real world population data set. So the inclusion, exclusion criteria were, let's say, minor in this, in this cohort. And can you talk a little bit about the treatment technique which uh, were used? So was the stent, uh, for example, always placed or deployed before the coiling procedure? Or how did you uh, treat the aneurysms? So the majority of cases were treated with a jailing technique. Um, um, but the remainder had coiling first, uh, either with or without a balloon, and then placement of the stent. In one case, the stent was crossed uh, with a headway duo in order to place the coils. Was it always possible to deploy the stent or were there also some failure cases? So there's a, there's a high rate of uh, procedural success. Uh, there was only one case uh, where the Elvis Evo was not successfully placed and looking at the report of that procedure it looks like it was a, a, a technical error of deployment by the operator who accidentally removed a partially deployed stent with the microcatheter. But because the coiling looked good, they decided not to go back and place another stent. I see. And when can we expect uh, the re results regarding the occlusion rates from the sealant study? So, so really good that we've got this promising and favorable safety analysis at discharge, but quite right. We also want to understand the efficacy of the technique at one year. So hopefully this time next year, we'll be able to start to present results uh, on efficacy. So then it's a good reason to come again to the link 2025. Another good reason. Yes, very good. So if I summarize your results uh, until now, the paraprocedural rate uh, of the sealant study using the Elvis Evo together with uh, hydrocols is very, very low. So you had only 1% uh, complication rate and also the rate of technical failure, meaning that uh, it was not possible to place it and was also very low. So it only occurred in one uh, case so far. So that's very, very interesting and very encouraging. So I'm happy to see the results of the occlusion next year. Thank you. Thank you.